making myself bleed like crazy, just yanking stuff out. Hey y'all, some cool stuff happening at the high school here. The pianos that we've had have been kind of deteriorating as far as our rehearsal pianos and we've got a really nice big Yamaha that is that we kept and is, is looking real good still. But um, I just wanted to do like a cool video because I want to shout out to Summer Haze because they really hooked this up. I traded in two baby grand pianos and they were falling apart. They were junkers. They're going to fix them and resell them. And in trade, straight across moving costs, piano stand, the piano, and an amp, a Roland amp. This is what they gave me. Not the guitars. Sorry, not the guitars. But they gave me this amp and they gave me this Dexabel. 88 key keyboard, which is sick. So the question is, what am I gonna do with the other grand piano that we had in here? Because we had a total of three, they only wanted two, because one of them was really falling apart, was really old, and I thought, let's repurpose it, turn it into a shelf. We're gonna do that, we can go out there and talk about it. So, let's go out there. And, you, and I wonder why I have back problems. Not really, I know. I've been watching a bunch of tutorial videos. I'm gonna turn this into a shelf, but there's a lot you gotta do. You have to undo every single one of these strings. You gotta undo all of these, all of these, every single one of those, and gut the thing so that you can turn it into a shelf. It's gonna be fun. I'm not an expert by any means, but I'm gonna do my best and see if we can take this sucker apart and make it something cool. But it's gonna take a while, but it'll be worth it, I think. One thing I wanted to talk about that I tried to figure out is like every single one of these has a square head on it. You can use obviously a piano tuner. There's some attachments for drills, but every everything I saw said, make sure to at least loosen all of the strings so that when you take this thing apart, it doesn't explode on you and take fingers off and stuff like that. So I was looking for an attachment for a drill, couldn't find one, but with a regular drill, I just tightened it around the head. This one, I just tightened this one around the head and went in reverse and it loosened right up. So pretty slick, gonna give that a go. Let's get that done first. Another day, I actually got home and found an extension so that I don't have to just, you know, tighten the, the chuck on the drill onto the onto these uh, tuning pegs. So that should go a lot faster and save my drill. So here we go. Okay, got them all out, every single one of them. Kinda got to be a mess there. Now, I have to figure out how to undo these tension rods here so that I can get the strings out. But now that I have all the strings undone, I can start undoing these and these so I'm, and not have anything snap in my face. So that got a lot done. It's gonna be a giant mess, you see all the bolts and everything that came out but here we go making myself bleed like crazy just yanking stuff out so making myself bleed like crazy just yanking stuff out so pulling it I'm making myself bleed like crazy just yanking stuff out so I'm gonna go get some wire cutters instead it'll be a whole lot easier just gotta quit being so lazy and hurt myself got some wire cutters got a wrench hopefully that'll uh, crescent wrench hopefully that'll work on these jobbies and I got some big pliers if the crescent wrench doesn't work. So let's get these strings off of here. I 
All of the strings are off. This is crazy. Time to get the rest of it off of there now. I'm pretty sure I've got everything off and undone to get this off, except for these. Those are gonna be a pain in the butt. And there are, let's see, one, two, three, six of them. There's six of those. And it's a big old flathead screwdriver. But as soon as I get that, from what I can tell, the big cast iron metal innards are ready to come out. Okay, so I have a Mondo flathead screwdriver that I'm gonna turn these flatheads. I just started to turn one of them. It started to actually turn. Those screws have been in there for a hundred years, literally. It's a beast to turn, but should be entertaining to watch me get them out. Another day, we got what's called the harp out, and it weighs about a thousand pounds. Not really, but it weighs a lot. Now, we gotta get the rest of this stuff out. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna work on getting this out too, but it's all glued in and bolted in, so I've gotta pry all that. Looks like I've got some big bolts I've gotta get out of there, but it's coming along. Okay, so now I want to put the keyboard, I want to put the keyboard back in it, but I don't want the hammers on there. I just want the keys to go all the way back. And there's places to actually like take the hammers off and just have this on there. So that's what I'm gonna do now is, is take the hammers off of there and put the keyboard back in there before I put shelves in so I know how much space I need. Okay, that should look pretty cool, I'm hoping, as is, with the keys in it. It's gonna be upright like this, so imagine this with the shelves down it, and call it good. It should be kind of fun. Okay, well, it's been a hot minute since I've talked about anything on here or showed anything, because it's been a slow, progressive thing with this shelf. But I've made some real progress. I had a lot of help. Um, my friend Nick helped me get a lot of this stuff out. Got the thing gutted and wasn't sure what to do with the shelves. I kind of messed around with some stuff. I repurposed the lid and like the music stand and all that stuff. So, but that being said, it's done. The next step is to get it in the in my classroom and get it, you know, set up with the stuff on it. But figured I'd give you guys a look and see what it looks like now. So now the trick is we've got to figure out a spot to put it. Here's what I'm working with. OK, 
Okay, so well now we got the space ready. I'm still not sure if it's big enough, but that just takes a simple measurement real quick and I'll measure that up, make sure it's big enough and then we'll get that sucker in here and put stuff back on it. All right, hopefully it doesn't tip over. So I'm gonna have to anchor it and make sure it won't tip over, but it's there, we're set to go. Kind of a nice accent for in here.